Hey there, it's CJ Willie, and today I am cracking a Zendikar Rising Gift Edition Bundle. Pretty cool looking bundle. I've already cracked a regular Zendikar Rising Bundle. Today I'm going to crack the Gift Edition Zendikar Rising Bundle. It's going to have 10 packs of Zendikar Rising and a Collector's Edition pack. At the very end, I will do a comparison on the regular draft booster packs. I want to compare what I pulled in these packs against the 10 booster packs that I pulled in my Zendikar Rising bundle. At the end of each bundle, I do a review video where I do a financial analysis, and I also do an analysis of what I could pull in future bundles if I bought another bundle. This is a really good time to make that comparison. Let's get to cracking this gift edition Zendikar Rising bundle. Since I like to collect these bundles, I try to keep the, the the things that come with it in good shape. Hey, I found a new use for these. They're good to, to put Christmas presents in. Let's take a look at the inside of this bundle like we do the others. And a really full foil viewpoint of the inside of the Zendikar Rising bundle. I have to check and see if this was the same one that came in the other bundle. I think it's different. The box itself looks pretty cool. Okay. Really cool gray die with the Zendikar Rising set booster symbol. And then for those that are beginners and don't know how to play Magic, a couple of info cards on how to play the game. And then our land pack and our Charix the Raging Isle. I wish they would do a different land pack and bundle promo for the gift edition. Both the Throne of Eldraine gift edition and the Zendikar Rising gift edition did the same thing. It would be cool if it was a little bit different. And then the awesome collector booster. Set that up off to the side. And our 10 booster packs. So let's get to cracking these booster packs and see what we have in them. As I do kind of the end of the video rollout, I might include some information about the value of the rares. Okay, let's get to cracking first pack. Go pretty quick through these. Tormenting Voice, Negate, Practice Tactics, Might of Marasa, Ghastly Gloom Hunter, Cunning Geyser Mage, Seagate Banneret, Spare Supplies, Scale the Height, Shepherd of Heroes, I've already probably purchased the most packs out of Zendikar Rising that I've done in any other set. I think I probably opened maybe the equivalent to a booster box and a half a booster box. The common right there. Sign of the Swarm. Rockside Slor... That's a hard one. Rockside Sorcerer. Selindi Vision. And our first rare mythic rare is going to be a Nighthawk Scavenger. That's really cool. I'm trying to get a playset of the Nighthawk Scavengers. I am one card away. In my first two set boosters that I opened, I got back-to-back -back Nighthawk Scavengers. Put that down there. Swamp and an insect token. Okay, next booster pack. Resolute Strike, Ardent 
Select Tromancer, Deliberate, Marauding Blight Priest, Malakur, Blood Priest, two Blood Priests in a row, Cleansing Wildfire, Cunning Geyser Mirror, Spare Supplies, Scale the Height. Looks like we might have a foil in this pack. Okay, Uncommons. Ravager's Mage, Light Lithoform Blight, Thundering Rebuke. All right, we got one of the really cool modal double-faced land cards. I think I have three of these now. What is our foil? Canyon Jerboa Showcase Foil. It's pretty cool. Set the foil up there. Okay, right, Figure Wizard, Team Royal Mage, Expedition Healer, Pyroclastic Helion. Some people say Helion, I say Helion. Probably doesn't matter. Territorial Scythe Cat, Nimana Skitter Sneak, Grotog, Bug Catcher, Feed the Swarm, Expedition Diviner, The Uncommons, Goma Fada Vanguard, Relic Axe. Jawari Disruption and Grok Ma Skyclave Ravager. I think black green is going to be a pretty strong color combination in standard. I think I already have a copy of this card. And then a Highborn Vampire is our foil. And a Plains and a stupid ad card. I don't understand why we need to have ad cards. Uh, the tokens have ads on the back, just make them all token cards. All right, speed up through the commons. Um, there isn't really anything of value in the commons. There's a couple of uncommons that have value, so we'll go through those pretty quick. Okay. Attended Healer. Iridescent Hornbeal. This card was crazy good in limited. Malakir Rebirth, another good limited card. And Shatter Skull. Charger. I haven't played with this card. I don't even think I have a copy of it. Forest. And one of the cards that you can use to represent a modal double face card if you don't play with sleeves. Who doesn't play with sleeves anymore? Okay, Shell Shield. Not as good as Dive Down was a crazy good card. Tazim Raptor Mage. Ooh, a Kazandu Nectar Pot as one of our common foil showcases. Drown a Silencer. Vanquish the Weak came out of Ixalan. Great early removal spell. Okay, another Relic Axe. Roiling Regrowth. This card was a blowout and limited if you had landfall shenanigans. S Balaged Recovery, another great uncommon. I think this is like a $2 card. And Seagate Stormcaller, Mythic Rare. I hope this isn't our only Mythic Rare in the bundle. And an Illusion Token. I think we're halfway through the regular bundles. Spring Mantle Cleric, which I think is one of the common uncommons. I think I've got like five or six copies of these. Merfolk Wind Dropper. I'd like to get a place of this. I really want to play a blue black rogue deck. Black Bloom Rogue. Finally, I pulled one of these. I haven't pulled one of these in any of the packs that I've opened. And then Zagras Thief of Heartbeats. This was a really fun card in Limited as well. Okay, four more to go, and then the Collector Booster. I'm not a fan of opening bundles like this. I like to sit back and enjoy the cards as I open them. Showcase Prowling Felidar. That was a blowout and limited as well. But I figured since I've already opened a ton of Zendikar Rising, might as well get through it. Canopy Bailoth Showcase. 
Low Mage's Domination, Cleric of Life Bond. I really wanted to play this in Limited, never got a shot. Kabira Takedown, a great removal spell. And a Lotus Cobra Showcase. I think I have a copy of this. I think I drafted it in Limited. Great card. I think value-wise I'm behind my regular Zendikar Rising bundle. That one was crazy. If you've seen the video, uh, I pulled two Lithoform engines in the same bundle. Duplicates were crazy. And I also got a pre-release foil of Skyclave Apparition. Apparently because there were no pre-releases, Wizards put pre-releases in the regular packs. And I can't remember the other mythic. Oh, it was the green modal double face um, land. Turn Timber Symbiosis, I think. Uh, Merfolk Falconer. Oh, I really wanted this card to do something. It didn't really pan out limited, and I haven't seen it in to instruct it either. Palaka Predation. And Soul Shatter. It's like there's a foil Expedition Diviner. Core Warrior Token. Okay, last two packs, and then we're gonna bust, then we're gonna crack, sorry, crack open the Collector Booster. It seems like I've gotten duplicates on some of the uncommons in this bundle. Avager Mage, Acquisition Expert, Zoff Consumption, that was another card that I had a hard time pulling in just regular packs for whatever reason. And Mall of the Skyclaves. This is a card that I really, really like. I'm trying to get myself a place out of it. I'm kind of trying to find it for like two bucks as a play set. Okay, final pack. And then onto that collector's booster that's sitting there looking at me. Into the Royal. Awesome reprint from original Zendikar. Mind Carver, that was a card I really wanted to do more than it did in Limited. Umara Wizard, and final card is Aura, Skyclave Hierophant. So nothing crazy ridiculous, I'm pretty sure my financial value in comparison to my regular bundle. That regular bundle is one of the best bundles I've opened. So it's gonna have a hard time overtaking that bundle. Okay, now to the collector's booster. I don't really have high hopes for this, but with Zendikar Rising, I don't know that I'm really, it, it seems like it's really hit or miss. I myself don't buy any of these at all. The only time that I get them, I've only gotten two total. Foil-wise, none of these really have much in the way of value. Sneaking Guide, Zillaport Duelist, Might of Mirasa, Malakur Blood Chief, Disenchant, Relic Golman, <laughs> Golman, Relic Golem, Vastwood Fortification, and a Plains. Looks like I got a, a Mythic Full Art. Or extended border. Why am I saying full art? Extended border. We'll have to see how much value that is when I do the review. It's pretty cool. Grakma Skyclave Ravager. I'm sure this is like 20 cents. And then a couple of common showcases. Extended border Needle Verge Pathway. It's cool. A foil, one of these. Verazel, the split current. Full art foil. And angel warrior and plant. I'll be right back with a final analysis of the value out of my Zendikar Rising Gift Edition bundle. And I'll also do a comparison, like I said, of the regular 10 packs that I opened 
to my regular Zendikar Rising bundle. Okay, I'm back. I've got all the cards organized in front of me from the bundle. Doing a comparison between my regular Zendikar Rising bundle and my gift edition bundle, here are the results. So let's start with overall. In my regular bundle, out of 150 cards that I had, 122 were different, so that's about 81% non-duplication rate. In the gift bundle, a little bit better rate, 127 out of the 150 cards, or 84% non-duplication rate. Then the set has 280 cards. So on my regular Zendikar bundle, I pulled 115 out of the 280 cards, so about 41%. For the gift bundle, I pulled 120 of the 280 cards, 42%. No matter what bundle you open, you're only going to get around 40% of the set. Your non-duplication rate is going to be around 80%. Commons. In the regular bundle, I pulled 69 different commons out of the 101, so that was a 68% non-duplication rate. Fared a little bit better with a gift bundle. 74 commons out of the 101, so a 73% non-duplication rate. Uncommons, 29 out of 80 in the regular bundle, which was a 36% non-duplication rate. In the gift bundle, 27 out of 80 for a 33% non-duplication rate. For the rares, in the regular bundle, I had 5 out of the 64, which was an 8% non-duplication rate. In the gift bundle, 8 different rares out of the 64, 12% non-duplication rate. In my regular bundle, I pulled 3 Mythics. If you remember, one was Lithoform Engine as a duplicate. That's a 10% rate. In this bundle, I only pulled Seagate Stormcaller, so 1 out of 20 is a 5% rate. Interestingly enough, in the regular bundle, I pulled 10 out of the 15 lands for a 66% rate, and I replicated that feat with a gift bundle. In the regular bundle, I pulled 28 duplicates. There were 25 commons, two rare duplicates, and one mythic rare duplicate. I've never had that before, where I had duplicates and rares and mythic rares. In the gift bundle, I only had 23 duplicates. I had 20 commons and three uncommons. In the regular bundle, I pulled four showcase cards, three commons and one uncommon. I also pulled four showcase cards in the gift bundle. However, I got a rare Lotus Cobra and then three other commons. For foils, in the regular bundle, I pulled three foils, two commons, and then a surprise pre-release foil rare of Skyclave Apparitions. No such luck this time around. I pulled three foils, one uncommon showcase, Canyon Jerboa, and two commons. For tokens, modal double-faced checklist cards. In the regular one, I pulled five tokens, four checklists, and one stupid ad card. This time around, I pulled three tokens, five modal double-faced checklists, Two stupid ad tokens. All right, for the big whopper of value, my regular bundle goes down on record as one of the best bundle opens from a financial perspective. I was able to pull $46.85 worth of cards. The gift bundle, not so good. If I include the cards from the collector's booster, total value is $22.84. If I subtract all those cards, it goes on record as one of my worst bundle openings with a value of $13.63. Another sad point, the collector booster only added $9.21 sense of value. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please subscribe and share. Take some time to tell me in the comments section what you thought of me opening the Zendikar Rising Gift Edition Bundle. Until next time, when I'm back to crack some more Magic the Gathering Booster Packs.